heartfelt. You know, I tell you something. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm just absolutely overwhelmed. Emotionally shook up. Kind of never ceases to amaze me the, the generosity of the people right here in Coventry. And uh, when you just see uh, what's going on around here, people just giving and the gratitude of those that are receiving, it just fills my heart with so much joy. It just makes me feel that I'm, I'm on the right track. We're doing something special here in Coventry and I still feel that we're only just touching the tip of the iceberg. I feel there's so much more to come and, and, and the best is yet to come. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed today, I really am. And I'm just looking forward for God to continue to just be glorified in all of this. And uh, I can't thank the people that have contributed in every department enough for what we've managed to be able to put on here today. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, today you're going to see uh, Anessis put on a, a Queen's Diamond Jubilee party for the homeless. And these guys might not actually want a party. Uh, they might just want to come and get their food and, and go away, but that's okay. What we want to say to them today is that you matter. If you want to celebrate your Queen, if you want to celebrate your Queen's Diamond Jubilee party, then you can do it right here with us because you matter to us. We want you to know that we care about you. Even if you're not invited anywhere else, you're invited to this party. So we're going to celebrate today. We're going to give them an opportunity. Sainsbury's have got on board and have sponsored this. We've got more food than we've ever had. There's over 250 food parcels here. And we're hoping that most people that come here are going to go away absolutely blessed and most importantly, well fed. Right, for me, getting involved in analysis is all about helping the guys you see in the queue here. We can make a difference to the local community. Uh, you know, you don't appreciate what other people have to go through and what heart they go through just to put the basic needs on the table, such as food, clothing, etc., stuff like that. So for us as Sainsbury's to get involved is really good for us because, as you know, we can make a massive difference to the community and the people we live and shop around. Fantastic time at uh, Sainsbury's at Canley on Friday. Got there about 9 o'clock. We were there till about 6. We actually got 69 crates of food and about £100 in donations into the tins. It was absolutely fantastic. A lot of people asking about becoming volunteers. Others wanting to know all about the uh, charity, how they could help, donate. Absolutely fantastic day, one of the best days that we've had. And, you know, a big thanks to Sainsbury's as well. We're, we're so appreciative uh, of their opportunities that they're giving us to, to get in there and, and to be able to fundraise and to get the food for occasions like this at the Jubilee Party. So, well done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget there is plenty of refreshments. You can eat, you can drink, you can dance. We're live, hence the cameras. Okay? So if that was you all, I'll make some noise for Coventry! Woo! We all live here. Cheers! Tonight. Yeah, let's twist again. Twist the diamonds here. Oh, 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 oh. Up and down we go again Baby let me know you love me so And then come on let's twist again Like we did last summer Yes let's twist again Twist the time is here What's that up in the sky? Where? Is it a bird? No Is it a plane? No Hello, my name is Fletcher Ansbury. I'm 12 years old and I'm a comedy magician and I'm here today to uh, do some magic for everybody here. And uh, yeah, I just want to help uh, the people here. For, for you to cry out and somebody to hear your call and respond to it, it takes a courageous person to walk. Because there are other stores in Coventry that could have responded and chose not to. These guys did. You know, and, and, and they've remained yeah. consistent with it. Yeah. And for that we are so yeah. ever grateful. We, you know, I wanted to get to a point where we didn't have to beg, we didn't have to look for um, government funding. And that's where we're at right now. Yeah. We've, actually, we've actually been able to set up our own food bank just with the support of these. Yeah, yeah. We collected another 69 crates at Canley on, on Friday. 
um, combined with the 30, 40 odd that we collected a few weeks ago at yours, and 65 that we collected a few weeks before. We've actually, if you go to our portal cabin now, it's absolutely rammed now, where we can now turn around and say, instead of just giving out the produce that we used to pick yeah. up on a Wednesday, we can now start adding a lot more that tin stuff. So giving them much more yeah. than what we were able to do. So it starts off with a seed, and, and it grows into what yeah. this is. And, and, and now we're able to bring out much more. All that, all that stuff is the stuff that we're collecting at the stores that the customers are donating. Yeah. Which is, you know, for us. Wonderful, it's, isn't it? It's, you it's know great what? for us. We should do this again, Christmas, big Christmas party yeah. in December, shouldn't we? And go again and see the opportunities that we yeah. If you want us, <laughs> you, something. you ain't getting rid of me, that is. <laughs> All right, listen, you, no, nobody told you, nobody didn't warn you, did they? I mean, I'm like a leech this on your back now. This is what the extension's for, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Every, every, every night I've got a yeah. Benny Rings, mate. Yeah. I'm still hunting you. Yeah, I'm, 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 I've got you. I mean, but the most important thing is it's, it's about relationship, and it's about relationships that's formed to change life. This is not just about a relationship about making profit. This is not a business issue. I mean, this is a community issue. And when you look outside there, what you see is all different diversities of the community standing in line, waiting to have their, me their needs met. Absolutely correct. That's what you see. And that's community working for community. Yeah, that's quite correct. And, and that's what it's all about for me. It's about community working with community. And that's what we, we're this side of the community, they're that side of the community. But together we come together and we make one community. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the, at the, uh, at the uh, meeting in Milton Keynes, I, I said something along the lines. Yeah, I mean, and I was really, really moved there. Um, that, I, I, I don't think I'd ever been as inspired as I was that day. But I, I just felt compelled to share what I shared. And when you imagine that Sainsbury's are not just a store on the edge of an industrial estate, they're actually part of the community. And this part of Sainsbury's, this area of Sainsbury's in Coventry, are showing that they're part of the community. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not just standing back here collecting on the till, but they're giving something back. And look who they're giving it to. Yeah. They, I know you guys might not be as religious or, 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 or you know, like I am, but in, in, in the Bible it states that when you give to the least of these, when you do for the least of these, that's when you do it for me. That's what Jesus says. And these are the least of our community that most people wouldn't want to touch. And that's, that's who we're reaching out to. You, you can see the difference it makes. Yeah. Whereas, you know, there's loads of other great charities like Air Ambulance, etc. They come along and they do a collection on the day. You don't see what difference that makes. Here you can actually see the difference yeah. and you see what it does. And you don't need religion for that. No, no you, don't. you don't. The amount of people that have come out here to volunteer today just because it's their opportunity to give something back. Not all of them are part of our team, by the way. Yeah. Um, in fact, some of them are your members of staff. Yeah, they are, yeah. You know what I mean? Do you know what's really interesting is Ryan had his um, colleague talk back where we gained, you know, feedback from our colleagues. And there were so many comments, weren't there, Ryan, yeah. about yeah. how proud yeah. they felt with the relationship with you guys. And that was coming through. And what an increase you had, didn't you, in terms of the colleague satisfaction, a big part of that was the community work you're doing. So it does feed through, the colleagues love it. So, um, Every, every one of the colleagues have got a friend or a relative or, or, or somebody that they know that suffers or struggles in this area of life. And it's their opportunity to, to do something, to give something back in that area where they feel like they're doing something to somewhere. But it, the thing for me, in 12 months time, it could be you saying yeah. at the end of that, oh, yeah. like that accountant I was talking to at that time. Yeah. Lost his marriage, lost his home, lost his wife, ended up here. Well, seven years ago it was me. Yeah. Seven years ago, it was me. Seven years ago, I was in a bed and breakfast, out on the streets, swigging out of bottles with winos that I used to throw change to. You know what I mean? Um, and, and, you know, sometimes you, you don't always have to wait to humble yourself or to be humbled in order for you to give something back. And some of you guys haven't. Some of, the, some of you have given it back already. And for that, we're grateful. You know what I mean? But just look at it. You've only just got to look at people's response.